Hi, I'm Dave, and today you're going to be learning about levers. You're going to make this lever with linkages activity from the Rob Eyes website. I'll leave a link in the description below if you want to download that uh, and have a go. Uh, but you're going to make this lever, and you're going to create your own animated scene by using your own custom art here at the top of uh, your template. And a lever uses pivot points through these split pins so that when you push and pull, the lever moves from left to right, okay? So uh, let's get started and let's show you how to make this lever with linkages. Okay, so the first thing you'll need to do is get access to the template, so you can uh, get that through the link below or your teacher may provide that to you. You'll also need uh, some materials, so split pins uh, too. You'll need some cardboard, you'll need a glue stick, uh, a marker or a pencil of some kind. Uh, scissors. If you have access to a hole punch, uh, that will be handy for punching the holes for the split pins. Uh, if you don't, you could use something like a screwdriver and poke through the cardboard or even try the split pins by poking that through. Uh, that may work, but definitely a hole punch helps. Uh, it's not essential, but it does help to just make those split pins rotate freely. You'll need a ruler and just some assorted coloured card to add to your uh, lever pieces. Okay, so let's get started. Once you've cut the template out, uh, you'll have some pieces that look like this. Now, what I just want to point out is that this square piece here, I didn't actually use in mine. I didn't feel, feel like I needed it. And that piece would normally sit on top of this lever behind this little miner as just a, a way of sticking your object to that lever. So that's up to you whether you choose to use that piece. And this piece here, um, I've actually made a lot longer, okay, you can see it's longer than that, and I'll show you why I've done that. And that's just made out of the coloured card, uh, or coloured paper, um, not out of the thicker cardboard. So um, here's the template, and you can see in my one, I've actually made my levers longer than the template, and that's okay. What you just need to be aware of is that you put your uh, holes in the, the same place though, so pushing your template up against the edge of the card and then marking it will be uh, what you need to do to make sure that those line up. All right, so, but to add uh, the colored card to the cardboard, okay, uh, a quick easy way to do that is just get your lever, grab yourself a glue stick and glue over the cardboard first. I know some people might do the colored card first. Uh, I found this way is a really quick way to make sure that you get a good even stick of the cardboard across the lever. And you can see this piece of uh, cardboard is almost exactly an A4 piece, which means less cutting. Okay, so once you put that on, just flip it over. And you can see this was an old Amazon box, this piece of cardboard, and that's great for making these types of things. It's a single wall um, cardboard. Okay, it's really quite thick and stiff and it's great for making. So there you go, that's how you get um, your colored card onto your cardboard. Uh, one thing I should also mention is when I uh, cut the card, I also made, that the, made sure that the corrugations in the cardboard were running across the piece of card. So um, all the way across. So that really helps uh, with the strength of that piece of card. So when you're doing that, make sure the corrugations on your cardboard line up and that will, that will make sure you have a stronger lever. Okay, so now that you have your colored card on to your lever link. So I'm just going to mark with a texter where I need to mark those holes. Okay, I can take those off now. Don't need them anymore. I then get my hole punch and just punch a hole into there. And so, Okay, so now you've got that. You've got uh, your pieces here. I'm just going to uh, add my top piece, so I'll go like that. Grab yourself a split pin and put that through, like so. Okay, so now that you've attached that piece together, so you use the two holes that were there, um, You've got one hole here on this piece. Line that up just like that, and you start to work out where you want your lever to push and pull from. Now, if you mark it something like that, 
let's just put a, a marker hole through there. You'll see um, that's where the mark is. Now I've got all this other range over here where I can put another point. So you can sort of have two, I suppose. And that way you can decide how far you want your lever to push or pull. So I'm just gonna put a marker point there. Grab my other split pin and I just wanna show you how that would look. So let's just poke that through. Poke that through there. And we'll just lock that off on the back, like so. Okay, now you get this piece here. Put a bit of glue on the blue piece or the top piece. You don't put it on the orange, okay? So just put that there. You may need to give it a, a few minutes just to dry properly. And glue on this piece. Wrap that around like that. Now, you do need to give it just a little bit of uh, flex there. Don't pull it too tight, otherwise it might be a bit hard to move your lever. And then you can just cut that piece off like that. Okay, and then you should have a lever that pushes and pulls like so. Okay, now what you can do, if you wanna open more range of movement in that lever, you can come back into here, just take that split pin out, and add another hole there. Okay, and then that way you can choose where your lever opens and closes from. Okay, so if you need it to move uh, further in one direction, then just play around with where you position the holes and you'll see it gives you a lot more movement um, to one side or restricts it to the other. Okay, so uh, play around with where you position the holes on this top lever and you'll see that you'll get more movement in this top piece. Okay, so now that you've done that, the challenge is out. You need to create a animated scene, so whatever character or object that you put on the top and over here to create some kind of moving uh, picture, okay? An extension from this activity could be that we add uh, things like LED lights and some copper tape and batteries to uh, make a switch, okay? Or we could also use things like a uh, linear actuator here, like a 3D printed part, and use things like micro bits or hummingbird and get the lever to be uh, moved through motors and servos and so on. So uh, we might look at that in time, but that could be a, a logical progression for this activity is to add things like LED circuits and then eventually servo motors and so on. So uh, have a go, that's the activity. That's the lever with linkages uh, activity. And I can't wait to see what people are creating with their levers. Okay, go get to it.